Hello and welcome back to another short news video with me, Mioni. This time we're looking at a brand new developer blog and this one is aptly called Quality of Life Bringers, which I actually really love that title. I think the community team took way too long deciding on that one and uh, in inevitably they went for the, the, the correct title for this one. Um, so yeah, this is basically looking at some of the quality of life changes, not all of the quality of life changes that are coming in Shadowbringers, and some of them we've already heard about and they reference them as well. This is directly translated, I believe, from the original Japanese post, but it's really interesting, so let's have a look through this. I'm not going to read through this entire thing verbatim, so if you want to go and read through this, you will find a link in the description as usual. They say the user interface team has already revealed a few features, the user interface themes, battle UI adjustments, and housing furnishing previews. They are of course talking about the new light theme, which we saw in the live letter, where essentially you can make all of the UI panels a sort of white and beige color, rather than a dark color, and you can toggle that on and off. They've changed some of the battle UI stuff per job, as we know with new gauges or redesign gauges, and they've also briefly mentioned the housing furnishing preview system. They've mentioned it, but they haven't really talked about what it exactly is what it looks like or what it even does so we're a bit in the dark about that hopefully we get some clarification at some point but regardless they talk about new ones that haven't been talked about before the first one is altitude indicators for quest objectives this one is uh, quite well requested if I remember correctly basically it's to tell you whether or not the quest objective is above you below you or at the same level so if a quest objective is right in front of you it will just be a normal quest objective icon but if it's below you it will have a downwards arrow indeed on the actual quest itself when you highlight over it on the mini map or main map or it will have an upwards arrow determining that it's currently above your current location. This is a very cool feature, especially when you have elevated terrain or caves. This could have been really useful in Stormblood. Apparently this will be directly for 5.0 quests, however they do say they will be gradually implementing this feature for quests that were included in patch 4.5 and earlier. So it's basically just a slow process. They're going to basically make this available for all of the quests, but you have to remember there are thousands of quests in this game and it's going to take some time. So at least they've focused on the new stuff having this quality of life feature personally i think this is fantastic and really it's going to be another one of these examples where they add something like this and I just, I just don't notice it because it's that good. The second one is a very requested feature, if I remember correctly, and they say a rumble in the duty participation window. And this is that controllers will now vibrate when you have been matched in a duty finder and a confirmation window will appear. So basically this is to give people more of a heads up. Perhaps you're, you know, you need the bathroom, you can take your wireless controller with you or something, or perhaps you just, you know, are tabbed out or you're doing something else. Your controller will now vibrate every time a duty will pop up. I think this was something that was mentioned at a previous fan fest either this year or last year. Maybe not as far back as Las Vegas but I think it might have been mentioned at Paris and Yoshi P said something like it was totally possible and they totally put it in straight away. So thank you whoever asked for that. This is a quality of life change that exists. I believe you can turn this on and off. I'm not sure if that is the case but uh, a lot of people will hopefully not miss their cues now. And the next change that they talk about is new party finder links so basically you will be able to access party finder recruitment through the following methods they say character name of the party finder recruiter and links to the party finder in chat so they show two images here and they say clicking on the recruiter's name in chat will now display the new view party finder subcommand selecting this subcommand will open the party finders recruitment window this is incredibly useful as a shortcut to actually find their listing Additionally, you can also click on the new chat icon on your recruitment window to insert a link in chat, which is pretty damn useful if you ask me. Moving on to other changes, hairstyle selection changes. This is something that will probably make some of you quite happy. The Esthetician hairstyle customization menu will now display information on how unlocked hairstyles were acquired. So basically you highlight over a hair in the Esthetician and it will tell you how you unlocked that hair in particular. So no longer will you have to go onto a third party website to figure out exactly how you got a hair. However, it will not show hairs that you don't own. So in many regards, that's something I would have preferred third to be added and I think a lot of people were like well what's the use of this one of the additional features of this though is you can now use all of the hairs that you have collected personally 
on your retainers. So this will allow for a little bit more customization for your retainers if you do as much as I do with my retainers. I like to sort of customize them, make them their own little characters, give them their own little outfits. This is going to be just excellent really, isn't it? Anything that adds more customization is always a welcome change. And the last change that they're talking about in this developer blog is about simplifying the PlayStation 4 login. This is a PlayStation 4 only sort of setup, and this is that you can now remember password. There's a new checkbox when you log into the PlayStation 4 client. Essentially, it will open this little window, and you have to put in your ID and password. But now you can actually tick a box, and it will remember your password for as long as you want. However, obviously, if you use a security token or indeed on your mobile for a one-time password, you will still have to type that in every time, but it does mean that you'll have to type in your password much less. So if it's something long, the last thing you want to do if you don't have a keyboard plugged into your PS4 is type around on the game pads on screen keyboard. So that's going to be a beautiful quality of life change for most people, including myself when I want to do some mining from my bed. Either way, this is the Quality of Life Bringers developer blog entry. A link will be in the description as usual. I'm extremely happy with what they've linked here. This is not obviously the last section of Quality of Life changes. There are indeed probably a lot more that we'll get excited about when we get to see them. I'm extremely hyped for the expansion and everything I see about it, practically drooling over it. Either way, thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time.